so like here's basically like the round start where they show in the the scorpion breakdown and of course like spears full screen but i just it the move looks faster in this game than it, it has been in like other games i think they've kind of nailed just what it's doing i don't think it hits mid though i think you still probably neutral crouch it but it's still going to be a full screen check you can't just be doing summon cameos easily or doing any of this stuff you know a lot of characters got a lot of setup type moves where they got to do something first before they they have to like unlock the rest of their their kit or something just by power like for example sendel has to do that you could just challenge people from across the screen with this like that's a part of like his whole move set really like and this is the teleport um i mean it, it's not going to show you how fast it is but basically like yeah that's another same type of move where you can't just be calling cameos without thinking because he can just say well i don't care teleport so it's like but yeah of course you can also use like cameos to take a hit and then keep attacking everyone can do that but it's, it just depends like you know they got to get in front of you first but scorpion can also just avoid that like say the cameos where like on this side where the fire's at and he's like well i don't care i'm not about to even deal with the cameo just avoid it so scorpion is going to be powerful just from that and then hellfire is a, a homing projectile move just like in justice one and mk uh nine and, and deadly alliance so he can basically constantly check you from anywhere on the screen with this but of course like the closer he is the more unsafe it's going to be and i i did see in the match video where they needed to use a cameo assist to punish him and it was in particularly they use a uh, kung lao low hat assist and then comboed after it with a uh, johnny k shadow kick But this move right here is going to be a neutralizer for a lot of characters. Like a lot of characters are just going to have to deal with this because they don't have like air mobility or something like that. They're not going to be able to get their game plan route. And, and plus like the EX version is unblockable. The regular one is a low. So it, to me, this move is just like Sub-Zero's ground freeze, but just a different version of it. It's, the ground freeze actually makes you move slower, which is tight, but yeah. And then this was like picture the, uh, the unblockable version, which you have to spin meter for. So like what you can basically do at the start of the match is cancel out your opponent's uh, ability to get the first hit and get like the, the first hit for meter because you'll basically use a meter to steal that away from them. You got to be on point, though, because if they avoid it, then you kind of like waste the meter. And then now you're sitting on them having two bars. You have nothing. But that that's going to be like big, like round start backdash. They call a cameo assist and then like do that. EX unblockable. Super annoying. Then right here, you got okay so scorpion actually has two sweeps i thought this was one sweep but he actually has two sweeps this sweep hits twice and i believe it's like a command special move or something or maybe it's a command normal i don't know but that this has so much range and like it because it hits twice you could do it on people's wake up and stuff it is on safe though i did see it get punished but with that said, it tells me like you're better off using it as a whiff punish over anything else. You don't want to be poking with it unless you, you know, use a cameo or something. But it's dope that they use his rope and made like a spear rope thing and made it like it, instead of him having swords, they, they just say, all right, well, you're just going to have him attack with that. And here's some more uh, of a defined range of how far it goes. So it's like, you can't whiff anything. And then 
say if you try to do like a, a cameo summon or something, he could probably just hit it. And the and the point character. And then his down two is a lot of range. This is really look look how far this is. You see you see my arrow hopefully. But like look how far this is. Like that's going to not have to deal with trading versus a lot of jump ins. That's that's really good. Like that's his uppercut. Yeah, this is down two. I don't know why people are like talking about that. And then it's, I, this is either his one or his two. I think it's his one. I don't know. I can't I have to actually see the move list for this, but clearly it's his jab. And then this is the second hit of this, but you see like the harpoon has a really long range going this way. So he can do like a jab string with a poke that's follow up and kind of checks you from a big distance away. That's going to be annoying to deal with. And then I don't know if this is an overhead, but like, yeah, like scorpions kind of ridiculous. Like no one's talking about his normals and stuff, but for what I'm seeing, he he looks irritating. And then this is a special move they can do. Does I assume a lot of chip damage breaks armor? Call it a cameo. If it is on safe, you can call it cameo to make it safe. And then this is his dash move they can use to like whiff punish. Or in combos, a side switch. And this move is his air spear. So, air spear is ridiculous. Like, you can catch people trying to jump from a distance, or just probably do an instant air version of this and, and just poke people. And Scorpion has so much range, and he commands so much space. Full screen, mid screen. I assume he's like good up close too. Then he's got like this pop up string, this knee starter. He could probably like stagger with, like do double knees or something. I don't know what it is on block, but it looked like it recovered pretty good. And this was the start of his two, I think. What you see is like, that's the first hit. How much range this got? Like, yeah, he's close, but still the spear's over here. You see what I'm saying? And then this is like regular sweep that they showed. So he, he on top of the, the the harpoon spear sweep, he's got this sweep, the regular sweep. And then this is his a uh, three 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 string, which is oops, which is like uh, his his a uh, MK nine three three four, and the injustice one. They're very much the same. Probably good staggers dealing with chip like safe chip damage and just poking in general could probably be annoying to just challenge then i think this is his down four because this looks like his right leg but that's a lot of range for the down four this down one so yeah i went got all these pictures i don't know what the hell this is maybe i, I want to say Maybe is this is actually this is down four. The other one was it was down three. I have no idea, but this looks like an anti or two. But yeah, that for for Scorpion, that's that's all I had. I don't really know how his teleport's going to if it combos in anything in this game. If he has to spin meter for it, but I do know, like in this match in particular, the the dev match when he did his teleport, he can actually cancel it. Just like in a in an MK, more like MKX, because in MKX you have to spin like a bar of this meter down here to cancel. But instead, it would take like I think it was two bars. It was something crazy or stamina or whatever. But yeah, they uh they made it to where you can just teleport cancel. I don't know if his teleport punch is gonna pop up or nothing like that. I haven't thought about that, but still, just the function of what it does is a big is still big in the neutral and just controlling people like well you can't 
like all right say you're fighting sub-zero he can't just throw freeze out he can't just do the ground freeze because you can just teleport it's 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 that's like Sindel. Everybody's like, yeah, Sindel looks like it's such a blah, blah, blah. But her entire game plan looks like it, you have to second guess for a scorpion. But OK. So then. Speaking of just, I guess, game plans, everybody gets enhanced by cameos. I, I got pictures of like some of the most annoying ones that I saw. So Sub-Zero with the three hits of projectile invincibility where projectiles just don't matter when they're on the screen anymore and it's this is an ambush assist so he just comes out while you're already like moving around fighting and stuff Th this is going to be annoying for i mean they showed it on smoke so smoke's supposed to be he's being talked about as his, like mix-up character rushdown whatever me personally when i see smoke i see a character that Without cameos, he's going to like struggle in neutral because everything he's doing, I think, can be checked in some way. So you got to like play around. I mean, of, co of course, every character is going to have some hole like that. That's the point of the cameo system. But when I saw it, I was like, man, he looks, I don't know, man, he looks like he has to commit to stuff a lot. But here was the uh, picture I got of him throwing a projectile at the, the ice armor. And then here was uh, the Sector missile. That's what this is. Excuse the blurry picture, but that's that's literally how the video came out. But um, okay, so here's something that people aren't talking about. There, each cameo does not take the same amount of bar of meter. Some cameos take a full bar, or they take a half bar. I don't know what the ice armor is for Sub-Zero because the way he had it set up was everything was like infinite and it never went down. But at least in this match, this took the whole bar for him to do the missile. So it's like, if you want to use as a neutral, say if you get like the character hit off the screen or something or whatever, now you got to wait for your whole full bar to come back. So you're just like kind of stuck. I don't know. I mean, I know it's a good assist. That's probably how they balance it because it's, you have a homing projectile coming at you. So it's like, yeah. Um, thankfully, they did. They they have this envision in play because it would probably be dumb if this thing could recover so fast that you could just keep doing it. No one can ever even move or be able to play it. Then uh, you have the summon cameos like Frost, right? Actually, all the Frost cameos are summon, which that means is like your character freezes and basically that that summon cameo becomes your character for like just that move. And then you can move again. So you can do something like hit confirm into it as a special for a combo starter. You can do uh, that set up versions of cameos and they got ones that come in would do like an overhead or low or something and the overhead low i mean none of them look really hard to block but it just adds the extra layer like say your character has a string and at the end of the string the 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 kick can be can be or a punch can be like flaws blocked you can use that cameo speed on the summon cameo to cover that hole and blow them up so i think like even frost cameo can be done with that because the ground freeze is really fast um and the ground freeze is good for like neutral too because it goes full screen it's, it's like it emulates how sub-zero's entire game plan is based on trades to get the freeze and combo you she basically does that like say if you are like just throwing stuff out on the screen and you're playing it like zoning war your move will still hit frost but the for freeze will be all over the screen first even though you hit her, that, that's just how fast it comes out. So there's gonna be a lot of cameos that are like quick like that or slow. Most of the slower ones are ambush cameos though, cause they just like walk out by themselves. This uh, Sector's teleport punch cameo is another one of those is like, well, it's a summon like um, Frost and it's, it's the same type of thing. You can use it in a block string for a combo 
or a, or a hit confirm to a combo or to use it to cover like gaps in your strings and you can use it to control neutral and like counter assist calls because it comes out it's probably be harder to combo from though at full screen but like it is still annoying to have to deal with i bet with scorpion this is annoying because you can actually combo and to, after it because you you know you got the full screen kept teleport and then here i have a picture of them both doing a summon assist she's doing frost he's doing uh sector but sector comes out so fast that it counters the assist call so it's a, a good a, a counter assist cameo see I mean, yeah, you can't see it like in the match, but I just got the picture like that they did at the same time. Then, um, Striker's another, well, Striker's a mix. He's got summon cameo, well, a lot of different cameos got like summons and ambush. Kano has two summons and uh, ambushes. I'm sorry, two ambush assists, or two, two ambush cameos and one uh, summon cameo. The summon, his summon is the eye beam, and then he's got the ambush, which is the roll and the uh, the cano ball and the 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 knife. Sorry, but striker, what he's got is this. He's got the like a string type of a cameo summon assist, but he also has got this thing where he comes out and puts you in handcuffs. It's basically like a capture assist, and then they can like combo after it, so you can hit confirm into it. But that's what he's doing here in this picture. Not in the next picture. I got the guy. I'm actually, yeah, in cuffs. So cuffing Shao Kahn, well, General Shao. I don't think he'll be able to uh, cuff Shao Kahn though, but General Shao probably. But yeah, he confirmed into this. Then um, from Otaro, also one of the next slides I do have Strikers uh, ambush grenade assist, but Motaro has a summon reflect assist i kind of think this summon will actually um my bad well i really feel like luke hang could throw a low fireball and go under this and i think he'll bypass this because then if it it would probably be ridiculous if it if it couldn't i don't know but we'll, we'll see but i want to test that if it does do that i'll be happy but he actually reflected uh i think the grenades in this picture in this picture this is motaro doing the teleport this is a startup of it and this is a startup of striker doing his grenade toss and he, this is motaro doing his I don't know how I want to describe this is projectile assist, but this one is an ambush cameo. He has a uh summon version of this where he shoots three. He only shoots one right here though. And oh, so the strikers and I guess I didn't do the picture right, but in strikers ambush cameo, he throws out like the grenade as if it's like kind of an anti but also hits like in regular like standard projectiles uh, space and okay so this is a picture with the startup of the three hitting summon projectile cameo that motaro's got this one also does a whole full bar of your your cameo but i see why because it's, it's three like slow ticks that you know they're just going to have to deal with it's very much like the sentinel drones assist in uh in marvel versus capcom 2 this shit is cheap like it's cheap and then you gotta think he still has his other cameos too so i guess it's not too bad that it's okay you have this one full bar cameo assist right but then you have two like or three half bar assists but yeah this is dead ass sentinel drones and this is a uh, sector flamethrower assist like it's, it's two hits. He does this first, which is the, the MK9 version. And then he goes into the MKX version where he does like the overhead type thing. I don't know. Maybe you can combo off this. Not exactly sure. 
and Darius has an ambush assist that has two parts to it, which is crazy. So like after this kick, he comes out and does this, this big ass roundhouse exaggerated Power Ranger ass kick. And I don't know, maybe puts him in like a long hit stun or block stun. But then he stands there and you can like grab him and throw him at the opponent. Okay, this is a Scorpion's overhead. I'm just calling it overhead. I don't know if it's overhead or not, but it's his overhead from MK9. His back two, his Injustice one, forward three. It actually happens really fast in this video. So like it might be difficult to block. I don't know, but this move i see it as of course you're using the strings blow up flaws block timing so like if i was Liu kang i would do four four string and then act like i'm gonna do the last hit and then call the assist and if you try to flaws block that timing, you get launched just because that's how that's a way you can use it of course you can hit confirm into it whatever or probably but i don't know about just throwing out neutral but yeah it was it was quick and this Scorpion has a, I guess, I don't know how long, far these fireballs go, but he takes his mask off and like breathes fire and shoots like three ticks or something. And he can like combo, help you combo into it or off of it or whatever. I can't remember if it was a summon assist or ambush, but yeah, it's pretty good. It, or good for what it is because his other assist is the spear where he can pull you out of like bad situations as armor and okay picture here probably hard to tell but this is cyrax cyrax's ambush assist where he comes in and does like a spinning helicopter but starts on the ground and then he like gradually goes up into the air at first i thought he just started up in the air that's i swear i saw that before maybe it's two different ways to call him but that's really good just for like one getting something started making you block but also like anti iron two at the same time it, there's a lot of variety in the, the cameos and then of course the patented net that he's got that you can use to just win projectile wars or, or check people on the screen of course it stops people from jumping it's like anti-air like the net's always been annoying to deal with and here, this is actually Serena doing like two knife tosses that have a recoil where she throws it and then it comes back like a boomerang. It reminds me of Jade's Gla EX Glaive toss and you come off it, but it's a summon cameo, so it's kind of weird. And then she also has like an anti air uh, uh, ambush cameo where she comes in and does like a flip kick. And she also has an, another cameo where it's an AOE ground effect that steals your meter. So I guess you put somebody like in the corner and call her out and just start doing some Quan Chi shit, basically. But yeah, you said Cyrex has two ambush and you hold it, he goes horizontal. And then I guess he, okay. But yeah, that's what I was thinking. But yeah, these these cameo assists and stuff like you, you got to know the difference between like a summon and ambush ones, because because uh, I, I was having a hard time explain. Well, not I was having a hard time explaining. I think they was having a hard time like understanding. But like the ambush assists don't lock your point character, and it's hard. It's weird to say point character because you don't have like a team. You just have your assist and your like main character but i guess you can say point character but yeah the ambush doesn't lock your point character while while you're fighting so when you call them out they just come out and do stuff but the uh, that's how like most versus games are like in marvel dragon ball and stuff and then you got your your summons that lock your point character until your cameo is done perform whatever do thing they're doing but so you got to use them for different situations and different functions like the point of the cameo system is kind of like what they were trying to do with variations where you cover your character's holes by adding or taking away from their play style or something but with cameos you don't really take away from the character's base you just enhance it 
So when you think about it, it's kind of like just buffs that are just, you can select them. Man, I was, man, I had drink some water. I was about to die. That's how I felt dehydrated. But then like, okay, you got functions for like all the cameos, right? Where you can perform it in neutral for screen control, or you can like hit confirm for a combo, or uh, use them during strings to add your offense so you, you blow people up for stuck ducking or standing depending on like what kind of move it is and uh or or, or flaws blocking like i was talking about with luke kang's four four string you just blow up those timings because people have to release block to flaws block and it's, it's a certain timing and if you don't press block at the right time you just get hit but you also can use cameos on wake up a lot of people I haven't seen talk about that. You can use them on wake up. So like some of the moves that are really fast, I guess they get invincibility on wake up. Like uh, Sonya's leg toss cameo and maybe uh, Jax's like wave cameo where he comes in does like the punch wave. But from for, but from what I've seen, just uh, they're really all the cameos are just good at covering characters holes or adding like strategies that are, that they need to to help them get over that edge or just make them even more powerful than, than they are because there are characters that are just super solid i think that cameos just make them even more solid and then there are characters that can just become probably broken with cameos like your wake up's bad they probably help with that or maybe they need help zoning or like getting combos started just offense or defense. Yeah. 